Hi there it's me Demi. And you are here in Demi's channel. Today we are going to tackle about betrayal. Have you been betrayed? How does it feel? I myself also experienced being betrayed by my friend, even the one I love it did happen to me. So please stick around, as I discuss to you about the steps that will help you move on from betrayals. Let's learn together. Betrayal is when someone you trust lies to you cheats on you. Abuses you or hurts you by putting their own self-interest first. Betrayal is probably the most devastating loss a person can experience. Recognize the betrayal and understand your emotions. Emotional awareness helps us to know what we need and want. Or don't want. It helps because being aware of our emotions can help us talk about feelings more clearly to avoid or resolve issues or conflicts better and move past difficult feelings more easily. Learn to forgive. Although forgiveness is a process and won't happen overnight. Even slight betrayals can take time to stop hurting however, if you actively maintain forgiveness as your goal. You will eventually get there. Decide the future of your relationship. Remember that if you forgive other people when they sin against you. Your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Don't blame yourself. It is inevitable to wonder. Why did this person that I loved respected and trusted betray me? Didn't they value our relationship and share the same feelings? It is reasonable to wonder. What did I do wrong to make them act this way? You can go round and round on a hamster wheel, trying to make sense of this without getting anywhere. Why? Because it has nothing to do with you. So don't blame yourself. Detached from people you don't trust. Detach yourself from people you don't trust. It can mean avoiding certain people or situations that are causing you stress or anxiety. Which can sometimes lead to emotional numbling or the dampening of emotions. Or it can mean building and maintaining boundaries to preserve your mental health. Don't betray. What if you are the betrayer? Most people who have betrayed someone they love feel plagued by feelings of guilt, sadness, shame or remorse. Your own capacity to hurt a loved one may also damage your own self-esteem and identity. Envision a future free of betrayal. Imagine each day that no one will ever hurt you again. The images you create in your mind become projections of reality in the future. So be careful of the thoughts you declare and claim. Take a leaf of faith. By taking a leaf of faith and throwing yourself into the unknown can be very rewarding. It means that you fully surrender to all expectations that you and others have ever had of yourself. It means that you allow yourself to start anew and feel completely free. If you are a friend or loved one of someone going through or having gone through this instead of looking for reasons to validate the possible logic of the betrayer educate yourself. Understanding is the key to being able to support those in pain. Your job is not to judge or make accusations. It is to be a shoulder to cry on, and someone to lend a helping hand to those suffering. Hold back your accusations of them. Respect the boundaries of the person being betrayed. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Demi and you're here in Demi's channel. To sum up we have discussed on how to move on from betrayal. 1. Recognize the betrayal and your emotions. 2. Learn to forgive. Next is. Don't blame yourself. Detach yourself from people you don't trust. Don't betray. Envision a future free from betrayal. And lastly, take a leaf of faith. Until then guys again thank you for tuning in. God bless.